How's it going? I'd like to welcome everybody here to Home Trivia, everybody. We're still at home. It's still Fridays, and we're still at home. I know we're probably not going to get too many people here because it's a long weekend. People are going to go out and uh, party, but I'm pretty sure you're not going to rent a hotel on the beach. So if you're not leaving town, you're staying home. The actual festivities are not until Sunday anyway, so... As always, our game will be starting at 7 o'clock. If you need a bucket to play in tonight's game, go outside your house, find a bucket, bring it inside, use that to play in tonight's trivia game. Otherwise, get the little garbage can in the bathroom. Throw out the toilet paper, use that for tonight's bucket. Get my phone off the tripod. If you are here now on Facebook and weren't on Instagram a minute ago, we were doing an Instagram live kind of behind the scenes of what, how it works here. I should have just playing around. I didn't actually show anybody anything. I just turned it on just for the hell of it. Well, we had a really good turnout at Bar Nancy this week. Had like a big birthday party. Plus, we had the, the you know, Clash of the Titans. Danny against Mr. J. Mr. J came out on top due to a Lord of the Rings question that I threw in there just to fuck with Danny. Turned out to have cost him the game. However, I will point out, Danny didn't fill out the word jumble. Therefore, he lost. He basically lost his own game. Plus, at this point, learn just the basics. You're that into trivia, you know. But that was the Clash of the Titans was on Monday. Wednesday, we had a pretty good turnout over at the Bend. We had, you know, considering it was raining and all that, we had a good turnout over there. Um, we had a new winning team finally after weeks and weeks of having George and his team win. Um, so we have a new reigning champion. Let's see if that keeps up or if George takes the, the reins back next week. And we're here. As far as karaoke, Tuesday was good. Yesterday was good. Hopefully tomorrow will be good. Last Saturday was really good. You know, this whole, ever since we started doing Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, that should, that's been going great. People know that we're there. That was the whole thing. As long as people know we're there, they will come to us. And then it becomes people who, people who go to karaoke, go to Seven Seas, or go somewhere because they don't want to be at Seven Seas. But either way, Seven Seas is the first thing you think about. And that was my goal. As long as you're, they're talking about us, whether it's good or bad, they know we're there. And if they know we're there, they come back. They always come back. I think at this point, we may be the longest running karaoke in town. I mean, that title belonged to Scully's, but I heard they're not doing it right now or not doing it anymore. I can't confirm that. I just heard they're closing early, so maybe they're not doing it anymore. That I'm not sure. If that is the case, we are officially the longest running karaoke in town, probably. Everyone else has started and stopped, started and stopped, but we've been ongoing for... But there's been karaoke at Seven Seas Bar for the last 17 years. 15 of them were really good. So next year, we're going to celebrate the um, 18 years of karaoke at Seven Seas Bar. 16 of the best years. So outside of uh, shutting down for COVID and all that, we have, you know, that's consistently, that's consistently been going on. So we may or may not be the longest running at this point. If you don't have a bucket in your house or a bucket outside your house, go get the little garbage can in the bathroom. Our bathroom is still being remodeled. So we still don't have two toilets in this house. Well, we do if we count the efficiency, but that doesn't, that belongs to my cousin. So I have to make sure he's not there and then go use it using my key. But otherwise, or we're down to one toilet in this house. But we're looking forward to when they finish the project. We got two toilets that flush seven cube, seven pool balls in one flush. And when that comes in, we're going to test that. I have recently learned that my son makes about that much. We figured that out because he doesn't flush the toilet. Now that we're all using the same toilet. There's a lot, been a lot of incidents of uh, me going to the bathroom and him having not flushed the toilet. 
Uh, the little boy is not making little poops. He's making big, big man poops. Rogu is still on timeout back here. Let's see if I could turn him so you can see him. And Mr. Hanky is there. He's, that's our jail back there. That's the wanted poster. Well, we caught him last week, so he's over here now. Doesn't get to be out there anymore. He hid and went over there, but we're putting him back over here again. If you're here looking for the uh, one-man acoustic band, uh, that's not here. That's not here. So if you're looking for a very boring renditions of Pro Jam and Nirvana songs by a single guy with a, a person by himself with an acoustic guitar, you know where you can go see that. Here's where the trivia is now. Trivia used to be over there, but now it's over here. As long as I have a bunch of hookers and cocaine, oh. everything's good. It's Friday. It's after seven o'clock. It's time now for home trivia. trivia. If you don't already have a bucket to play in tonight's game, go outside your house, find a bucket, bring it inside, use that to play in tonight's trivia game. Trivia is starting right now. Go outside, grab a bucket, bring it inside. You have three rounds, ten questions each. We have no prizes to give you, but we're here for the fun of it. Sorry if you're looking for the acoustic guy, but that is not here. Right now, let's get started by going over the rules of tonight's game. It's Friday, you bastards. Ooh, there comes a the little boy. All right, as always, we have a one-player minimum because you need to be at least one human being in order to be playing. Otherwise, I don't see how you're doing this. But feel free to grab three sheets of paper, number them one through ten, or grab one piece of paper and make three columns of one through ten, one for each round. And if you have a funny team name you'd like to share with us, put it there in the comments, and I'll read it out loud. I don't care what you write. I don't care how inappropriate it is. And if it's really funny, don't wait. Don't save it till the end. Let me know now. Put me in a better mood. Yeah, it was a good one last week. I wish I would have known sooner than I did at the end. Feel free to scream and shout the answers all you want. You're home. I'm home. If anybody's there or you're watching this after the fact, either way, feel free to scream and shout because the people you're playing against can't hear you and it makes no difference at this point. No looking up the answers. If you know the answer, don't post the answers in the comments. Remember, you're playing with yourself, so you would only be cheating yourself. Question round one over one point each. Question round two over two points each. Question round three over five points each. You're playing for nothing. First place gets nothing. Second place gets nothing. But if you can, take a picture of yourself and post it on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. Tag at Trivia Miami, and if I grab it, I'll share it with you guys next week. We will also be pulling out our stubs and dancing in the Lucky SOB raffle, which here at home means son of a Bernie. There, there's the bucket. I need to make space for that. There it is. I should have had all that ready before. All right, here's our legal disclaimer. If you can read small and fast, you read that thing. It's gone. And again, as I say every time, we should update that at some point. But for now. And again, any little bit helps. That's my Venmo. That's my Cash App. If you want to hook it up, that's the place to do so. I know it says karaoke because I also host karaoke. And that's where my Venmo and Cash App activities usually are. But if you can help me out, that'll be cool. That's my Venmo and my Cash App. You can throw a little bit our way. It'll help pay for the pizza, which helps pay for the kids, which helps have our, have this game here every week. And the little girl's birthday is this month. It's July, which means it's uh, the little girl's birthday, so we need to send her birthday present. She turns 15. 15-year-olds 15 need eat stuff. So if you can throw a little bit our way, that'll be cool. Now, join me on Monday over at Bar Nancy. That game starts at 8 o'clock. Play there for fun and prizes. We have uh, first place gets a $50 bar tab, second place gets a $25 bar tab, plus we have raffle prizes after each round. Same thing over at the Bend over in Miami Lakes. That starts at 9 o'clock. Also, first place gets 50, second place gets 25, and raffle prizes after each round. Join me for karaoke every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night over at the Seven Seas Bar. We're back, we're big, and we're going to do keep doing it. Every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. No more of that bullshit that happened when I wasn't there. 
We're back and we're we're gonna stay. And as always, join me here next Friday, as I have no other plans, and I will be here next Friday as well. I know a lot of people aren't even here now, but they'll probably watch this later, so whatever the case may be. But right now, let's get started with tonight's game. It's time now to put your phones in the buckets, phones in the buckets, telefonos en la cubeta, phones in the buckets. And where's my stopwatch? Very important. Okay. Let's get started. Round one. Question one. True or false? Fortune cookies were invented in California. True or false? Question two. The Iron Chef America TV shows are modeled after Iron Chef shows originating in what country? And the Iron Chef America TV shows are modeled after Iron Chef shows originating in what country? Question three. On what video game platform did the Gran Turismo game series debut? A, Nintendo, B, PlayStation, or C, Xbox? And on what video game platform did the Gran Turismo game series debut? Nintendo, PlayStation, or Xbox? Both, ch both children are here now. Alright, question four. What is the name of the monkey in Disney's Aladdin? What is the name of the monkey in Disney's Aladdin? Question five. What state's inhabitants are known as cheeseheads? What state's inhabitants are known as cheeseheads? Six. Staying Alive, the sequel to the movie Saturday Night Fever, was released in what year? A. 1979. B. 1981. Or C. 1983. Okay, Staying Alive, the sequel to the movie Saturday Night Fever, was released what year? 79, 81, or 83.
All right, question seven. As of June 2021, what athlete became the most followed individual on Instagram with 300 million followers? As of June 2021, what athlete became the most followed individual on Instagram with 300 million followers? getting hot in here. I should turn the fan on, maybe. All right, question eight. What gas is the main component in natural gas? What gas is the main component in natural gas? Somebody put on Facebook uh, a new term called NERC, which is a nerd who is also a jerk. And I said, yeah, I see those all the time. They're the ones running up with their phones right when you reveal an answer for your trivia game. And they have the counter pr uh, proof of a different answer, which they were sitting on the whole time waiting for you to say the wrong answer. That's a NERC. All right, question nine. About how many minutes does it take sunlight to reach Earth? A, 8 minutes. B, eight, uh, B 18 minutes. Or C, 80 minutes. Okay, about how many minutes does it take sunlight to reach Earth? 8 minutes, 18 minutes, or 80 minutes? This copyright friendly music is getting a little dramatic. I feel like I should be getting ready to fight or something. But then we travel. All right, finally, question 10. Last question in this round, everybody's favorite category. Florida, Florida. or not Florida. Or not Florida. I'll read a news headline. You need to let me know if you think it's Florida or not Florida. The only two possible answers are Florida or not Florida. Here's the headline. Emergency crew rescues sex doll after mistaking it for drowning woman. Is that Florida or not Florida? All right, that is the end of round one. Let's go over the questions one more time in case you missed any. Question one was, true or false, fortune cookies were invented in California. According to the Iron Chef America TV shows are modeled after Iron Chef shows originating in what country? Question three, on what video game platform did the Gran Turismo game series debut? A, Nintendo, B, PlayStation, or C, Xbox? Question four, what is the name of the monkey in Disney's Aladdin? Question five, what state's inhabitants are known as cheeseheads? Number six, Staying Alive, the sequel to the movie Saturday Night Fever was released what year? A, 1979, B, 1981, or C, 1983? Number seven, as of June 2021, what athlete became the most followed individual on Instagram with 300 million followers? Question eight, what gas is the main component in, component in natural gas? Question nine, about how many minutes does it take sunlight to reach Earth? A, eight minutes, B, 18 minutes, or C, 80 minutes? And Florida or not Florida, the headline reads, Emergency Crew Rescues Sex Doll After Mistaking It for Drowning Woman. All right, please check your own answer sheet. See if these are the answers you want to stick with. Remember, you want to hook it up. You can hook it up. That's my Venmo. That's my Cash App. And that's my daughter, whose birthday is this month. In how many days? In 12 days. In 12 days, it'll be her birthday. She's turning 15. 
And let's get started with our raffle. It's time to pull out your stubs. It's raffle time. I'll pull a number out of this bucket, and any number I pull out, my son will win. My son will win all the prizes. What's he getting first? Luca. He's getting Luca straight from the McDonald's Happy Meals. And look who's up there. That's Roger the bunny rabbit. Who, he's a cat who thinks he's a bunny rabbit. And we have to accept that he identifies as a bunny rabbit, and we do not, well, we do not judge him for that. We have to the following number. Zero two zero. Oh, you meow too. You can't hear it. Dance. What time is it? All right, he won. You didn't say with me. You lucky son of a Bernie. All right, next one out will be another one of those little Darth Vader's with Darth Vader right there. Darth Vader's all about the U. We have to the following number. Zero zero five. Zero zero five. Dance. All right, he won. You didn't say with me. You lucky son of a Bernie. And finally, everybody's favorite prize, one free beer. But he can't drink beer. He can only drink iron beer. Going out to the following number. 004, 004. Dance. All right, he won. You didn't say with me. The lucky son of a Bernie. And that concludes our lucky son of a Bernie Ralph for this round. He'll be back at the round two and three of tonight's game. All right, let's go over the answers from round one. Which one was true or false? Fortune cookies were invented in California? That is true. According to the Iron Chef America TV shows are modeled after Iron Chef shows originating in what country? Habon, Japan. Question three, on what video game platform did the Gran Turismo play a game series debut? On PlayStation. What is the name of the monkey in Disney's Aladdin? Abu. Question five, well, what state's inhabitants are known as cheeseheads? Wisconsin. Question six, Staying Alive, the sequel to the movie Saturday Night Fever was released what year? 1983. Seven, as of June 2021, what athlete became the most followed individual on Instagram with 300 million followers? Cristiano Ronaldo. Question 8. What gas is the main component in natural gas? Methane. If Miguel were here, there'd be lots of methane being spread around this place, but he's not here. Question 9. About how many minutes does it take sunlight to reach Earth? About 8 minutes. And Florida or not Florida, the headline reads, the emergency crew rescued sex doll after mistaking it for drowning woman. That was not Florida. That happened in Japan. Why is this not clicking? Click, click again. Okay, there we go. All right, these questions are one point each. So whatever you got right, put that in the comments if you can. If not, I guess not. I hope so. I hope you do. And you put a funny team name for me to read out loud. Either way, so post your score in the comments if you can. Now join me on Monday over at Bar Nancy starting at 8 o'clock. Join me on Wednesdays at The Bend starting at 9 o'clock. Join me for karaoke at Seven Seas Bar every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And I'll be here next Friday. I'm going to take a quick commercial break, and I'll be back in two minutes for round two. I love this song. What station is that? Coast, 97.3 FM. Great song. What station is that? It's Coast, 97.3 FM. I love this song. Me too. What station is that? Ever wonder what radio station you're listening to? For the most music throughout your workday, listen to South Florida's Coast, 97.3 FM. The best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today with less talk. Grand Prix's new track. Grand Prix is bigger, longer, and faster. Feel the thrill of the hairpin turns. Then speed down the long straightaways. Grand Prix. Race your friends in the true spirit of Grand Prix competition racing. Feel the roar of the engines as you race the big challenge on Grand Prix race Rama. Open seven days and nights. Take I-95 or exit 12 on the turnpike. Grand Prix on 441 just south of State Road 84 in Fort Lauderdale.
Dade County Youth Fair and Exposition. Be there. Imagine the perfect video store. It would have a great selection, right? Right! Over 10,000 videos. Three evening rentals, so no rush, no hassle. Fast checkout. 24-hour quick drop return. Open late every night. Well, the perfect video store... Welcome to Blockbuster Video! ...is popping up all over the country. There's one near you. Blockbuster Video! Wow! Wow, what a difference. All right, only one team losing on purpose, which is not the losing on purpose that we used to have at the bar. This is losing on purpose, a different team, which is our regulars here on our online. Eight points. Nobody else posted anything, so I assume all five viewers are all on that team. All right, let's move on to round two. Time again to put your phones in the buckets, phones in the buckets, teléfonos en la cubeta, phones in the buckets, teléfonos en la cubeta. Round two. Question one. What came out first, Too Fast, Too Furious, or All About the Benjamin, both with Eva Mendes? What came out first? Question two. What soft drink originated as a result of difficulties importing Coca-Cola syrup into Nazi Germany during World War II due to a trade embargo? What soft drink originated as a result of difficulty importing Coca-Cola syrup into Nazi Germany during World War II due to a trade embargo? Question three. Lady Gaga got her name from a song by what rock band? Lady Gaga got her name from a, by, from a song by what rock band? Vanessa, I have a feeling that once that started, the uh, taking away the extended happy hour was just a way to try to drive us out of there. Just my feeling. I always had that feeling. I just never really shared it with anybody. I have a feeling that they have been, not them, specifically one person in charge there has been trying to find a way to get me out of there little by little. So first take away the happy hour. Maybe people stop showing up. People kept showing up. All right, let's uh, let's uh, fuck with the, prizes, with the prizes and all that stuff. That didn't work. You know... So they took advantage of the situation of we haven't been there all this time and said, well, if we don't bring them back, eventually people won't remember. Of course, I, I don't think they assume that we'll keep doing it online and talk shit about them the whole time. But that's on them. All right, question four. Ain't no bum cover. I'm sorry. An album cover. Whose 2007 album is this the cover for? Just the name of the artist, not the name of the album. Whose 2007 album is that the cover for? But I guess when you want to create a business model where you basically cater to 16-year-olds to line up for free drinks for girls and all that on Thursdays and hope that maybe kickballers will keep showing up anyway, well, that's what they want to do. That's why they have a one-man band instead of a full band like the one in Color Betas.
Uh, speaking of the food, they had at one point hired a, a conspiracy theorist who believed the earth was flat to be their chef. So that should tell you a lot. That's why I stopped eating there. Question five. Which Jackson family member had roles in the TV shows Good Times and Different Strokes? What Jackson family member had roles in the TV shows Good Times and Different Strokes? My theory being if uh, you don't believe the earth is round, you probably also don't believe you should wash your hands after going to the bathroom and, you know, little things like that. Therefore, I'm not eating anything you cook. They eventually fired that guy, but lack of judgment in hiring him in the first place just shows a lot. All right, question six. It's time now for our movie clips. I'll play a clip from movies released in 2007. I'll play it once with just the sound, once with the words up on the screen. Here we go. I'm really sorry that I blocked your cock. One more time. I'm really sorry that I blocked your cock. What movie is that from? Question seven, the question that pissed off Danny. In Lord of the Rings, which mountain was the master ring made? In Lord of the Rings, in which mountain was the master ring made? I, I, I will point out, I put this in round three. I have Barnancy. And it's on round two here. Because this is the Ben's version of the game where I kind of figured they know this stuff better than he did. So... This still cost him the game in round three. But he also didn't do the word jumble. All right, question eight. Which country was known as British Honduras prior to 1973? Which country was known as British Honduras prior to 1973? All right, question nine. In the movie Purple Rain, what Minnesota lake did Prince tell Apollonia to purify, purify, purify herself in? And in the movie Purple Rain, what Minnesota lake did Prince tell Apollonia to purify herself in? It's a tongue twister for me. Purify herself in. I also have a cat running by. You know, like now that I think about it, we should have named one of the cats Apollonia. Gonna name one Morris, Apollonia, and the kid. My daughter does not agree. Jerome. It would have been Jerome, Morris, and the kid. It would have been if all three were boys. All right, question 10. Last question this round. Which two signers of the Declaration of Independence who later became U.S. presidents died on July 4th, 1826? Which two signers of the Declaration of Independence who later became U.S. presidents died on July 4th, 1826?
Yeah, you would think a guy named Dread playing an acoustic guitar would be playing this kind of music. He's playing Sublime and Pro Jam. That's what he's doing right now. And badly. From five to nine. Alright, that is the end of round two. Let's go over the questions one more time in case you missed any. Question one was, what came out first, Too Fast, Too Furious, or All About the Benjamins, both of Eva Mendes? Question two, what soft drink originated as a result of difficulties importing Coca-Cola syrup into Nazi Germany during World War II due to a trade embargo? Question three, Lady Gaga got her name from a song by what rock band? Ain't no bum cover, whose 2007 album is this to cover for? Question five, which Jackson family member had roles in the TV shows Good Times and Different Strokes? Movie clip from 2007. I'm really sorry that I blocked your cock. Question seven, in Lord of the Rings, in which mountain was the master ring made? Okay, which country was known as British Honduras prior to 1973? Question nine, in the movie Purple Rain, what Minnesota lake did Prince tell Apollonia to purify herself in? Question 10, which two signers of the Declaration of Independence, who later became U.S. presidents, died on July 4, 1826? All right, please check your own answer sheet, see if those are the answers you want to stick with. Again, any little bit helps. That's my Venmo, that's my Cash App, you know what to do with that. Now let's get on to the raffle. My daughter is up there with Natalia. Yeah, her name ended up being Natalia, if you haven't kept up with us. She started out as uh, Patty, then she became Natty, so we, came, we figured we'd call her Natasha, which was the name of the cat that we gave away. Because they're not here anymore and they renamed it. And then my wife kept calling it Natalia because she wasn't sure. So we just said, well, I'll screw it. Let's we'll screw Natalia. Everybody can remember that. Now that's Natalia up there acting like a baby now. Natalia identifies as a dog, which we don't judge her for. She barks. She gathers. She has her own little toy section like like my dog, like the old dog we have used to do. She steals from us and hides it in different places. <laughs> All right, let's get on to the raffle. Time to pull out your stubs, it's raffle time. I'm putting a number out of this bucket and any number I pull out, my son will win. My son will win all the prizes. What's he getting first? He's getting a group. Going out to the following number. 009, 009. Dance. All right, he won, you didn't. Stay with me. Lucky son of Bernie. All right, next one out. He will be getting a another Darth Vader thing. It's not the same one. We have more than one of those. Zero two eight, zero two eight, dance. Lucia. Oh look, Rogers here. Lucia. 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 All right, he won. You didn't say with me. Lucky son of a Bernie. Wait for the good part. That guy's ridiculous. I have him on Facebook and all he does is talk about himself. All right, and finally, everybody's favorite prize, one free beer. Everybody can't drink beer. You can only drink iron beer. Going out to the following number. 016, 016. Dance. All right, he won. You didn't say with me. Lucky son of a Bernie. And after the lucky son of a Bernie round for this round, he'll be back after round three. All right, let's go over the answers from round two. Question was, what came out first? Too Fast, Too Furious, or All About the Benjamins? Both of Eva Mendes, it's All About the Benjamins. And two, what soft drink originated as a result of difficulties importing Coca-Cola syrup into Nazi Germany during World War II due to a trade embargo? Fanta. That's why Bernie Roses loves Fanta. Because Bernie Roses loves anything Nazi. Question three, Lady Gaga got her name from a song by what rock band? From Queen, Radio Gaga. Ain't no bum cover, whose 2007 album is this to cover for? That is the Flowbots. 
Because I can ride my bike with no handlebars. No handlebars. No handlebars. Question five. Which Jackson family member had roles in the TV shows Good Times and Different Strokes? Janet Jackson. She played Penny on Good Times and she played uh, Wiz's girlfriend on Different Strokes. I forgot her name on there. Movie clip from 2007. I'm really sorry that I blocked your cock. Super bad. Seven in Lord of the Rings, which mountain was the in which mountain was the master ring made? In Mount Doom. That really, really upset him. I mean, he stormed out of the bar, and he got second place. Question: eight, Which country was known as British Honduras prior to 1973? Belize, Belize Navida, Belize Navida. All right, question nine. In the movie Purple Rain, what Minnesota lake did Prince tell Apollonia to purify, purify herself in? Lake Minnetonka. And that was not Lake Minnetonka. Question 10. Which two signers of the Declaration of Independence, who later became U.S. presidents, died on July 4th, 19, eight, eight, sorry, 1826? Jefferson and Adams. Thomas Jefferson and John Adams. And they hated each other. I'm not sure which one went first, but I'm sure the one who went first, the other one said, okay, now I can go now that that asshole's gone. All right, these are two-point questions, so whatever you got right, times two. Add that to your previous score. That'll give you a running total at this point. Post that score in the comments if you can, even though only one team is talking and responding and talking, and I think probably only here anyway, but whatever. Remember, you join me at Barn Ansi on Monday nights, and especially I will be there this Monday, even though it's uh, the 5th of July and it's after a long weekend. Monday night, I'll be there at Barn Ansi starting at 8 o'clock. Wednesday, I'm at The Bend over in Miami Lake starting at 9 o'clock. I do karaoke at Seven Seas Bar every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. That starts at 10 o'clock and runs till whenever. We stop taking songs at 2 a.m., so whatever requests get in by then, we play them. It could, we, could end at, we could end at 2.05 or we could end at 3.05. We, we, you never know. Every week is different. Every, game, every night is different. And I'll be here next Friday, as always, on Friday nights. I'm going to take a quick two-minute commercial break, and I'll be back for round three. If you're hungry and in the mood for something extraordinary, look for this symbol. And this telephone is the fastest way to Franco's original Italian pizza day or night. If you live anywhere from Pompano to Hialeah, you can treat yourself to the best in authentic Italian dishes. Franco specializes in dishes from Adipasto to Vio Francesa, all at reasonable prices. This symbol of excellence is in Pompano, Fort Lauderdale, North Miami Beach, North Miami, and Hialeah. Franco's the king of pizza with home delivery day or night. 97 GTR, continuous rock and roll with Herman and McBean mornings. No more pop scratches and ugly black buildup for these rock and roll animals. Whoa, 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 whoa. 97 GTR, all compact disc rock and roll. Like ZZ Top. Bruce Springsteen. We the Rolling Stones. Herman and McBean mornings on 97 GTR, continuous rock and roll. Ay, bendito, se le paró el carro. ¿Y eso cómo fue? No sé. Yo le había echado culan, pero se calentó. Mira, lo voy a ayudar, porque yo tengo un tremendo culan. Amale. La próxima vez échele a Amale. Este sí es un culan de calidad superior. Porque todos los culan no son iguales, ¿sabes? Amale es mejor de lo que tiene que ser. Ah, pero oiga, ¿usted no es irichaco? Sí, y de culan. Yo sí sé. Exija a Amale. Tremendo culan. <risa> Why settle for some of it when you can get all of it? Get it all, get it all, get to Zare and get it all. It's got to be a knockout, so I got to Zare. It's got to last. It's got to have a name I know. So we got to Zare. Get it all, get it all. It's got to be a real value. Get to Zare and get it all. Exciting fashions, famous brands, honest quality, genuine value. Get to Zare and get it all. In Miami. Sayama, Saide. And we're back. Oh, losing on purpose, 27 points. I, I really don't know historical facts about the Adams Jefferson thing. I just assumed it was just a joke I was making. It would have been funnier that way. They're like, oh, he died? Let me go now. But yeah, I guess that's how it was. I'm not sure. Huh? No other teams playing, so no other team scores up here. But let's move on to round three. Time now to put your phones in the buckets, phones in the buckets, telefonos en la cubeta, phones in the buckets, telefonos en la cubeta. I might get shirts that say that, telefonos en la cubeta, Trivia Mammy or something like that. 
and, and just uh, you guys who are just sandbar people, the game at the other places are much more fun because we have the raffles there and people have to dance their way to claim prizes and so on and so forth. And that's just, I always thought that was more fun. I thought that was better than doing the chug off, but whatever. We could have done both. All right, round three. Question one. Which U.S. state is nicknamed the Magnolia State? Which U.S. state is nicknamed the Magnolia State? Become cynics first, strong work ethic without the inner work. Pretend the hurt is gone to stop weeping like willow. Start off soft as pillows and up hard as armadillos to no feelings. All right, question two Working like robots, just who sang I want my MTV on the dire straight song Money for Nothing? Who sang I want my MTV on the dire straight song Money for Nothing? Let the pain overwhelm you. It's crazy like Bellevue, but it got something to tell you when you hear that secret. It's the key to the lock. Till then, you think you're free, but you're not. Negativity got that black hole gravity creep into your soul like cavities drain your battery pain and tragedy leave the world painted badly can't see the beauty no more change the strategy to give a static to stitch all right question three it's time now to name a celebrity i'm gonna put a picture of a celebrity up there if you know who it is write down their real name not a character name not a description we've seen them name name this this celebrity celebrity any her real name not a character name not a description where you've seen her Verses and shifts, just a diamond in the rough that needs polish. Eat from the tree of knowledge, see deep and be astonished. But most ignore, close the door and won't explore the dark vaults where the gold is stored. Yeah, love is a battlefield where hearts get broken. Used to be the men of steel, then I cracked open. I feel what I have to feel, deal with the trial. Cause after the crack, still the love grows stronger. Love is a battlefield where hearts get broken. Used to be the men of steel, then I cracked open. I feel what I have to feel, deal with the trial. I don't understand what these kids are doing. All I know is we're watching The Bad Batch. Later. Question four. Which is the only country to have its own official scent? Which is the only country to have its own official scent? Time now for question five, which is always our <laughs> Jumbo. <laughs> we got five on the top, eight on the bottom. There's our W I L L M Y G O L D R A N. Hint is an actor, female. Will my gold ran? Figure it out. Lucy Lawless out of those letters. 
you're a lot more impressive than I thought. So I don't even see a, a you in there. All right, hopefully if you figured this out or wrote this information down on the back of your answer sheet or a piece of paper, I am moving on to question six. Italian inventor Antonio Meucci is credited by some as one of the original inventors of what? An Italian inventor Antonio Meucci is credited by some as the, one of the original inventors of what? Seven. What animal scientific name Orobenus rosmaris is Latin for tooth walking seahorse? Okay, what animal scientific name Orobenus rosmaris is Latin for tooth walking seahorse? Question 8. Who is the only player in Major League Baseball history to win the Rookie of the Year and Cy Young Awards in the same season? Who is the only player in Major League Baseball history to win the Rookie of the Year and Cy Young Awards in the same season? Homophobia is the fear of what? Homophobia is the fear of what? Finally, question 10, last question of tonight's game. Something of local history, news, or facts. In 1999, what local politician did People Magazine name America's sexiest politician? In 1999, what local politician did People Magazine name America's sexiest politician? That is the end of round three. Let's go over the questions one more time in case you missed any. 
Question one was, which U.S. state is nicknamed the Magnolia State? Question two, who sang I Want My MTV on the Dire Straits song, Money for Nothing? To name this celebrity, I need her real name, not a character name, not a description where you've seen her. Question four, which is the only country to have its own official scent? Word jumbo, five on the top, eight on the bottom. Those are the letters. It's an actor, female. Will my gold ran. Question six, Anto Italian inventor Antonio Meucci is credited by some as one of the original inventors of what? Seven, and what animal scientific name Orobenus Rosmaris is Latin for tooth-walking tooth -walking seahorse? Okay, who is the only player in Major League Baseball history to win the Rookie of the Year and Cy Young Awards in the same season? Homiclophobia is the fear of what? And question 10, local history news or facts. In 1999, what local politician did People Magazine name America's sexiest politician? All right, please check your own answer sheets. These are the, these are the answers you want to stick with. Again, if you want to hook it up, that's Venmo, that's Cash App. And here comes the little girl with Dora, Dora the Explorer. She's actually the smartest of the three cats. She was the first one to figure out how to get out of the room. She always waits for her turn to get her food. Doesn't jump in each other's bowls like the other two. So that is Dora the Explorer. We call her Explorer because she explored and got herself out of the room. All right, let's get to the raffle. It's time to pull out your stubs. It's raffle time. Don't pull a number out of this bucket, and any number I pull out, my son wins. My son will win all the prizes. All right, first thing he's getting is that little car thing with a Mickey Mouse on it or something. We have to the following number 022022. Dance. All right, he won. You didn't say with me. Lucky son of a Bernie. All right, next one out. He was getting a book, a Dr. Seuss book. Which book is that? All the things you can think. Going out to the following number. He needs it. He needs to practice his reading before he goes into his kindergarten class next uh, next year. All right, zero two three zero two three. Dance. Moviendo la cadera, moviendo la cadera. All right, he won. You didn't say with me. You lucky son of a Bernie. All right, finally, everybody's favorite prize one free beer, but he can't drink beer. He can only drink iron beer. Going out to the following number 017, 017, dance. All right, he won. You didn't say with me. The lucky son of Bernie. That's with the lucky son of Bernie Ralph over tonight's game. There goes Dora. Alright. Where were we? I know for sure we won't get a copyright strike for that song. Let's go over the answers from round three. Question on which U.S. state is nicknamed the Magnolia State? Mississippi. And to who sang I Want My MTV on the Dry Straight song Money for Nothing? Sting. To name this celebrity, that is Olivia Wilde. For which is the only country to have its own official scent? Lithuania. They have their own scent. Official scent. Don't ask me why. Word jumble, five on top, eight on the bottom. Those are the letters. It is Molly Ringwald. This is the question Danny didn't answer. If he would have answered this, he would have won the game, despite the Lord of the Rings question being in round three for his game. And six, Italian inventor Antonio Meucci is credited by some as one of the original inventors of what? He invented the telephone. He invented the telephone exactly one year before Alexander Graham Bell. Antonio Meucci, Italian inventor. It's at the beginning of Godfather 3 when uh, when Sasa gives uh, gives Michael a uh, golden phone. All right, question seven. What animal scientific name Orobenus Rosmaris is Latin for two walking seahorse? So walrus. Cuckoo, chiku, cuckoo, cuckoo, chiku, cuckoo. Question eight. Who is the only player in Major League Baseball history to win the Rookie of the Year and Cy Young Awards in the same season? Fernando Valenzuela. Homiclophobia is the fear of what? Fear of fog. 
and local history news or facts. In 1999, what local politician did People Magazine name America's sexiest politician? Pinga Pequeña. I'm sorry, Alex Pinellas. All right, these are five point questions. So whatever you got right, multiply that by five. Put that with your previous score to give you your final total. Post that in the comments. Join me on Monday at Bar Nancy starting at 8 o'clock. Join me on Wednesday at The Bend starting at 9 o'clock. Karaoke at Seven Seas Bar every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday starting at 10 o'clock. I'll be here next Friday. I'm going to take one last commercial break, and I'll be back in two minutes. The largest Toyota sale. He's never going to be done. Um, up here, up here. Focus. We only have a couple of seconds. Just Would you get it ready, please? Come on, man. Go. Oh, I'm Paul Castronovo. This is Young Ron Brewer from 94.9 Zeta. Catch our morning show weekdays starting at 6. I remember the only way to hear our very local, informative, and an entertaining program is to listen to 94.9 Zeta. Don't forget about the animal displays. Oh, yeah. We promise no more live animal displays because last Thanksgiving we messed up a turkey. Mm -hmm. You know why I come to Lum's Good Buddy? They grill the steaks just perfect. And the fish fry dinner is so tender and delicious. I love the juicy roast beef sandwich piled high with that thinly sliced roast beef. I like it when Mommy and Daddy take me to Lum's. The burgers are great. <laughs> you and your kids get a better choice when you choose Lum's. You get a choice. You get a better choice when you choose Lum's. Compact disc sale of the year. Thousands of titles for only $8.99. All types of music. Rock, country, soul, jazz, classical, vocal, big band, pop, hundreds of artists. Something for everyone. CDs for only $8.99. Come into Peaches now while the best selection's available. And that's it. All right, what do we got? Losing on purpose, 67 points. Nick Ward takes full credit for the whole thing. No other teams were playing. No other teams posted anything. But thanks again for joining us. As far as I'm concerned, you're all winners. Of course, I think we only have one team, so either way, you're the winner. Join, follow us at True Miami on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also find this entire game again on YouTube. You can pretend you have... That's the Venmo. That's the Cash App. Thanks again. Have a good, safe 4th of July weekend. Hopefully you can come see me in person soon. Join me at Bar Nancy or The Bend or come to karaoke. Either way. Or if not, Joey will be back here next Friday. I'm going to Cox on Radio sign us off. Good night and thank you. Have yourself a real nice day. And if you want to smile some, listen to Power 96.